when you need to check in, you have to bring the luggage to do the security screening and then you go into the lobby. So what you need to do right over here, you should pass your luggage to the gentleman over here. Okay, and then they will handle your baggage like, very nicely for you and then you go through this security screening. And let's go for check-in right now. The check-in lobby is just right over here, oh, just right at the front. Hi, good afternoon. The lobby right over here is very simple. I can see right over there, the so best room will be... Oh, oh thank you. So, very efficient staff that offer a welcome, uh, welcome drink. Let me try the welcome drink first. The staff just told me that the drink is guava plus watermelon. Uh, watermelon. Let me try it. Oh, it's very refreshing. It's very nice. I just got my room card and then I have got upgraded to a very nice suite room. So room number for today will be two, uh, 626 and the beauty manager is very nice enough to give me a little gift right at the check-in counter. So let me go to the room and then we'll show you the room and show you the gift. I received a very warm welcome from the front desk and the duty manager and then they are very nice to upgrade me to the room to 626, not yet. <laughs> and then I will show you how the suite room looks like. Let's see. Oh wow. <laughs> Once I slot in, oh the room is already had the aircon set it on. And oh, it's like a very interesting layout over here. Oh. Okay, so let me put my luggage and the gift over here first. And the very first thing I see, I believe this must be the guest washroom. Wow, <laughs> it's a very spacious washroom. So it's not the guest washroom. And then here is the living room. And let me see, can I open this? Oh, okay. okay. So here's the wardrobe with the safe and the ironing board. And what is on inside? Okay, steam iron. It's very good. I like the iron with the steam. And let's see what is this. Okay, so they serve the, sorry, they offer the Nespresso machine, coffee machines with the two capsules. Uh, usually it will be one with uh, the cap and one is non uh, regular coffee. And then also tea, local tea, and uh, instant coffee. So the working decks here has offered a uh, one USB port and one international uh, power plug and the local power plug. Very decent. And then empty mini bar. Let's go to the room. Wow. <laughs> oh, wow. Eh? Hang on. Eh? Oh, this a very interesting design that uh, it can be shared with the guests. And then I see this is super cute. Is that elephant or is a just a t-shirt? You clean place, a happy place, huh? Wishing a wonderful stay with us. Oh, thank you, Ara from the housekeeping team. But I'm not sure. What do you mean? You clean place, a happy place. Anyway, I still like it. The room is spacious, that are, you can see that there's a pillar over here, it doesn't matter to me. Okay, let's see what is beside the big frame. And there's an international power plug. Let's see what's over there, I'm not sure. And another power plug with the clock, and okay, without the charge, but doesn't matter, I don't really use that. And let's see the washroom, it comes with two bottles of water bottle. And the hair dryer is a regular hair dryer. It looks good enough. And the mouthwash, toothbrush, shaving kit, comb, cotton bud, and then soap, the shower cap, and also one power plug right beside the wash uh, basin. And this is a huge and spacious standing shower. I like it. Yeah. Overall, it's not a disappointing room. It's spacious with a lot of natural light. And let me see what is outside the view. Uh, how can I open this? Oh. Honestly, it's on the roadside, but I can't really hear 
any noise a little bit a little bit noise and then um i hope that i can have a very good rest over here yep i will show more of the feature The bed is very comfortable. I have a very good sleep, but just a one bad point. I mean, one up, uh, one one bad point that uh is the roadside room, and then it's a little bit noisy at night. Uh, Sometimes uh, when the truck passing by or the bike passing by, they modified the engine, and uh, in the morning I also woke up by uh the noise on the roadside. But uh the bed is very comfortable, just the noise. Even that I'm deaf, I can still get annoyed by the noise. So now what I need to do is, I'm going to have my breakfast now. Let's show you how the breakfast looks like. Let's go. Here is the breakfast area. The first thing I see will be the bacon and the sausage, the mashed potato right over here, and then the big bean, mm -hmm. and then the grilled herbs, tomato, cream and oh, the bokari and gratin. And then what is this? This is a uh, beef collage. Mm. The beef smell very nice. So. And then the penny pasta is very nice. And right over here is a porridge. So you can see the condiment right over here. Nine condiments and the uh, plain porridge. And that's a cracker and the uh, sambal. And this is tempeh ore. I love tempeh. Tempeh is uh, something made by bean. And this is what is this? This is chicken. And then this is me goreng. This fried noodle. And then this is nasi udok. I think it's just white. Well, it's not white rice. It's, I'm not sure what is the rice is that. And then this is the white rice. And over here, there is uh, fresh, the live station. There's a pancake. And it's a noodle, I believe it must be bakso and laksa. And you can choose the noodle that you want. And the pastry is right over here. I'm quite surprised that they serve breakfast in the, I mean, they serve ice cream in the breakfast with the condiment of this. And then right over here, there's cheeses, coca, mm, two milk, fresh milk and skim milk and the soya milk. And the cereals right over here, and the miso soup. Mm. And after this, you will get to see some dim sum. This is siu mai, and then uh, siu mai tau fu. Oh, I never seen this before, but uh, it's something like uh, tofu with stuff with the fishes, and then the Indian food, which is the Chan, roti chanai or roti prata with the curry and let's see what is this oh the fresh food is right over here and this is the passion fruit i believe uh, i tried that not bad and then this is something they call snake skin uh, fruit i uh, basically i don't like it but can you see that it looks like a snake skin it's beautiful right and then the last one will be the salad so this is the breakfast area for the Four Point Hotel. It looks good, right? Astrid is the PR manager. Hello. And this is the gym that for you to do the cardio after breakfast or after a heavy meal. And then you can come over here to burn all the fat away. So there's two treadmill and then two, I call it step machines and a cycle. And then the weight 
and this is for you to do your call and then there's also some yoga ball so this is a very decent gym that enough for you to burn all the fat and they also offer the drinking water tower right over here last night they actually the housekeeping was sent delivered this to me and i'm going to try it uh, with a coffee and before i check out so i think this must be a brownies and marshmallow and eclair so let me enjoy my uh sweet little treat before i check out here is the easy treat from the what i can redeem with the voucher and it's actually fried banana with cheese for the cheese lover you're gonna love it for those who don't eat cheese um you have to ask before what is the easy trick for the redemption also for the beer uh they have three different types of beer you can choose uh from the best brew they have Heineken, they have the bintan and they have the guinness stout and uh, one of the beer called pros beer p-r-o-s-t and for the uh, voucher you are only allowed to redeem the pros beer let me give you a try now. Oh, mm. wow, it's actually mm, when the, the stuff present to me, it looks a little bit weird to me, but um, actually, it's very nice. The banana is very sweet, um, although it's deep fried, but it's not very um, soggy, it still tastes very good, and the cheese is matching with the banana very, very well. So, I'm going to check out the hotel now. And we'll see you on the next video, which is at the um, Caraton, Jakarta.